Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to introduce you to an awesome new feature in the Power BI toolset, which is using buttons to enable drill through between report pages. Previously, the only way to do this was using the right click and context menu of any specific visual. So now you can have very clear ways to enable users to access drill through functionality on any report page. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use the report that I built for that previous video where I discussed how to make rich and stylized visual header tooltips. You can still observe these in the file here. And if you want to know more information about how I built these specifically, I'll go ahead and link you to the video over on the right hand side or down in the description. But for this video, I want to focus on these buttons you see in the lower right hand corner that allows you to drill through by clicking a button for the end user. You can observe this action if I make a selection here. And you notice that these buttons now become highlighted. So it operates very similarly to the right click function in Power BI, with the exception that there's now very large buttons at the bottom that make it very obvious for the end user that you can now drill through for this. In an inactive state, if there's no selection made, these are going to be grayed out. And you can also provide a tooltip in there so it explains to users what to do. And in this case, it's telling the users to make a selection on the above visual. So go ahead and do that. That toggles the buttons to become active down below. And then if you hover over it, You'll notice that it says click to drill through, and now it actually has that kind of dynamic little button configuration that I've also incorporated in there as well. And if I click on it, it takes me to a drill through page. In this case, I just have two kind of dummy drill through pages that I created at the end. They're essentially the same set of data, but it just shows you that functionality. Go ahead and go back to the main page. So let me show you how I configured this. So if I select this here, go up into the visualization section, you notice that this is just a standard button. All the standard things that you can configure for a button are applicable here as far as the text, fill, etc. Same thing with the various states, which is why when I make a selection, I get the hover and click effect, which is the default on hover and on press different colors that I've set for fill. The only thing that I have to set up in here is under action, there's a type for drill through preview. And if I select that and I select the destination down here, that's going to go ahead and enable this button to become a drill through button to go to that corresponding page. In this case, button A is for marketing details, button B is for industry details. And I also have the two tool tips that I just showed you when you hover over them, whether or not they're active or inactive. Now, at the time of creating this, the one thing that is not available is I cannot change the color of the inactive state. So it's going to be a light gray and there's no way around that. Um, but these are a really nice way to add drill through buttons to specific visuals. Um, then I've also applied a little bit of color formatting to really show that this visual and these two drill through buttons are kind of grouped together to be used in sync with each other. And one of the primary reasons that I'm doing it per visual and not for the entire page is only cross filtering is captured when you create drill through buttons. The slicer will not enable them. And same thing for anything over in the filters pane. That will not trigger a drill through bookmark button to become active either. It has to come from the visual. So recommended practice is to make these for visualizations where you don't want a user to have to right click and select drill through from that context menu. And just a couple of notes on the pages as well. All the standard configurations still apply over here when you are making those buttons. Whether or not it has keep all filters on or off will apply to the bookmark buttons just like they would in the context menu. So just make sure you're configuring these appropriately. And that honestly about covers it for this video. I really just wanted to show you the functionality and how easy it is to set up these drill through buttons. As you can see, it makes it much more obvious that there is drill through capability for a visual. Now, Microsoft has incorporated a couple new features recently where on some things that have drill through options, they will have a tooltip that pops up to say right click to drill through. So there are hints and stuff that can help users find them, but buttons at the moment are the most obvious way to incorporate those into a page to make it really clear that there's something to click to go drill through to a details page. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.